Hi, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we got everything right here for you. So if you're not already a member, please join our site and you'll have access to the uh, Z Code VIP Club section that I have right here. It has all the great tools that you need to help make your picks every single time. So let's take a look. We're going to uh, take a look at the NBA games for February the 29th. And there's several interesting games on tap. The best game of the day should be the Houston Rockets and the Boston Celtics, but we'll take a look at some of the other ones also. So let's take a look here. We're going to scroll down through and see what we got. First game we want to look at is the Brooklyn Nets and the Miami Heat. In this Eastern Conference showdown, the seventh seed Nets head to Miami to face the fourth seed at Heat. Brooklyn is just 10 17 on the road. And um, you'll take a look here that Miami is 23 and 5 at home, one of the best teams at home in the conference. You see, right now, Brooklyn is averaged down. They have lost two out of their last three, and, and they're 3 and 3 over their last six. The Heat are ice cold down, losing their last game uh, to Cleveland, and have lost four out of their last six. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. here. You can see the trend here that New Jersey, despite the worst record, is at plus 21 and Miami is at plus 18. Head to head, you can see that the Heat uh, won back on December 1st of last year, 109 to 106. The Nets won 117 to 113 at home in the last meeting. So you can see they've been playing in, in some tight games so far. That will likely continue in this one. If you look at the totals predictor, if you want to uh, pick the over-under, you can see that New Jersey is trending in games under the line so far at the moment, and Miami is playing in games trending over the line. So in this case, I would avoid betting the over-under. You want to see how stable the two teams have been. How well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? You can see the Heat are considerably more stable at plus 25, and Brooklyn in here is at plus 12. So take that into consideration when placing your bet on this game. So overall, I would think that uh, Miami is the better team. There's no question about that. And they're very tough at home. Brooklyn has not done well at the road. So I expect the Heat to come away if they win in this one. Take a look now here at Indiana Pacers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Indiana is looking to climb into the top four seeds in the Eastern Conference. Right now, they are sixth in the conference. And they are 14-14 on the road. Cleveland has been brutal all season. They're just 16 and 41 overall and 8 and 22 at home. You can see right now that neither team is playing well at the moment. Indiana ice cold down. They did win their last game and they are 3 and 3 over the last six. Cleveland is ice cold up. They are 2 and 4 over the last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the trend here. Indiana was at plus 17 back on February 23rd. And you can see the uh, beginning of the month, they're at plus 23, and they're all the way down to plus 10 at the moment. Cleveland has been down near the bottom all season, and again, they are coming in just at plus 1. Head-to-head, -head, you can see that teams have split the two meetings so far, both teams winning at home. You can see in the over and under. Indiana is playing in games trending slightly over the line. They were playing in games trending way over the line. Just uh, back on, uh, let's see, when was this? Just back uh, two weeks ago. Cleveland is playing in games trending over the line also. So both are, are trending over the line. So betting over is probably a wise choice in this game. Take a look at the uh, volatility oscillator. How well are the teams uh, performing according to their favorite underdog stats. Both of them are very consistent as far as that goes. Cleveland here is at plus 23. Indiana is at plus 19. So the over and under should make a big difference as far as placing your bets in this game. I don't think that there's much chance for Cleveland to win this one. They're just too bad. Indiana should win this one relatively easily and winning comfortably, maybe even by double digits. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers now at the Memphis State Grizzlies. Los Angeles with the top record in the Western Conference, and they're 25-5 and five on the road. Memphis is the number eight seed in the conference, and they're 16-13 and 13 at home. See, the Lakers are burning hot at the moment, winning their last six. Memphis is ice cold down. 
the teams are completely trending in opposite directions. Uh, Memphis has lost four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Lakers are steady at plus 29, and Memphis has been up and down and there now, at, back down at the downward trend, going from plus 20 back on February the 20th, and now they're down to plus 14. If you're considering betting the over and under, the Lakers are playing in games trending over the line. And you can see here that Memphis is trending over the line as well. So I think betting the over is probably a very prudent choice in this one. It should be a very high scoring game. How stable are the two teams at the moment? The Lakers are much more stable at plus 27, which means they're more consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status than the Grizzlies, who are at plus 12. Overall, I don't think that there's going to be much difficulty for the Lakers in this one. You can see head-to-head -head that they have won all three meetings so far this season by 12 points, by only one on the road back on November 23rd, and in the first meeting they won by 29. So the Lakers are just too good, and they will have a relatively easy win in this one. Now the game of the day. The Houston Rockets at the Boston Celtics. These teams are both battling near the top in their conferences. Houston is fourth. They are 17 and 12 on the road. Boston is third in the East and have a 23 and 5 home record. You can see that Houston is burning hot at the moment. They have won their last four games. One of them was at Boston. You can see back on February the 11th by 116 to 105 margin. Boston is average at the moment. They have won four out of their last six and are one and one in their last two. If you look at the power ranking indicator. See, Houston is now slightly above Boston at plus 27 compared to plus 25 for the Celtics. If you're considering the over and under in this game, Houston is playing in games trending under the line. Boston is playing in the games as we should check this. And I don't know what happened there. Let's get this back up here. Uh, Boston, there we go. Okay, we have a little bit of technical difficulty here, but we're getting it right back. Okay, here we go. So, you can see that Houston was playing in games trending under the line, and Boston is playing in games trending over the line. So, in a case like this, I generally say to avoid betting the over-under, you might want to go with an over because Boston is playing in games trending a bit more over the line than Houston is under. Either way, it's probably going to be a relatively high-scoring game, so it's going to be very close as far as betting the over and under. Um, as far as who's going to win the game, Houston won the first meeting between the teams this season. Boston is excellent at home and should even the score in this one. The final game I'm going to have to take a look at is the Orlando Magic and the San Antonio Spurs. Orlando is average at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. The Spurs are ice cold down. You can see they have lost four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see what has happened here. San Antonio was at plus 7 back on February the 21st. And at that time, Orlando was plus 16. Now the tides have turned. San Antonio is now up to plus 16, and Orlando has dropped to plus 8. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, you can see that Orlando won the first meeting by a two-point margin at home, 111 to 109, back on November the 15th of last year. Considering the over and under, Orlando is playing in games trending over the line. And San Antonio is also playing in games trending over the line. So this is a good indication to place a bet on the over in this one. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how stable the two teams are, you can see that Orlando is playing in games trending. Well, I mean, as far as their stability goes, excuse me, they are consistent. They're very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. So Take a look at that one very carefully in this one. San Antonio is plus 11. They're not quite as stable, but they're still pretty much performing as well as you would expect according to the third underdog status. Orlando will be a road underdog. There's no question about it. And there should be very little problem with the Spurs winning this one. And they will pull away late in the fourth quarter. So those are all the matchups we want to take a look at. But now the one other thing I want to show you, and take a look at this because it's going to help you make your picks. Go up here to the hot trends, you will see the top automated systems. If you click on that, you will see the best ones according to what you're looking for. Scroll down through here. Let's select basketball because that's what we are looking at at the moment. 
And you can see the Andrews system is rated the top system right now. You can see the profit at 10,743.10. So take a look at that. And it has all kinds of interesting graphs. You can look at the uh, trust factor percentage, average square deviation, anything you want to look at to help make your picks better. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy betting this weekend, and we will see you next time.